Hey everybody, another tutorial using Photoshop. I am going to get to the actual photography tutorial soon, uh, just trying to organize some shoots and things. Uh, basically what I've been doing today, I've been watching YouTube. I mean I'm a huge YouTube fan, especially for finding out how to do things um, for photos and for other various things. Um, and I wanted to basically look at, well, how can I create an album or a collage that can be reused? So I was looking through it and I found ones, but I didn't like how long it would then take to redo that for another client. So I did a bit more research and I think I found a way that works. And it's one that isn't on any of the, the ones that I've seen so far. It's weird. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to make the album using the methods that I've seen. Then I'm going to show you what I'm doing to make things a bit easier for when you want to do your own thing. So what I'm going to do is create a new workspace. Now I'm going to base it on online books that you can order, which are usually square books, 10 inch by 10 inch. I'm always working in a 300 resolution, 8 bits, and I want a white background. So there we go, nice workspace. Now the next thing that I want to do is create areas where my photos are going to go. Now to do that, I'm going to be using the shape tool, and I'm going to be using the rounded rectangle tool, and I've got black foreground color selected. So the first thing I'm going to do is create an area for the first image. And you can see I've made a mistake already because I don't actually have that tool selected. I have my marquee selected because I'm a numpty. So we'll try that again. Create a nice area, like so. Lovely. And you can change the colors and stuff if you need to, but we don't want to do that. I then want to create another one, which will create here and then another one slightly bigger I'm going to put here right so this would be the kind of layout um, for placing my images so brilliant got it all set up this is how I want it to look now I'm going to add the images in so here's what I learned through the techniques I've been watching today. So if I drag an image over and basically readjust the positions, I'm going to click OK just now. I'm just going to drag it um, down so it's above the larger shape that I've created. All right. Um, and what I need to do, um, well. The ones I've watched basically show them that they reshape the image to get it to the right size. Perfect. You can do it after. Press down Alt, click in between, click OK. My image is now clipped inside of there. It doesn't look great. So let's click on this tool. Let's click here. And I'm just going to move it over slightly. I'm going to bring it down to there I'm going to bring it up Ooh, just to there all I'm doing is trying to get the position a little bit better within the, the image and that'll do okay so let's assume for a second that I've done these other two boxes it's brilliant it's done I've got my lovely album piece sorted out I'm now ready to go ahead and um, do another one. So the technique they gave to do another one was very simply go up here and delete it. Then add in another image and start all over. That's a bit long winded. Didn't like it. And I'm sure as a photographer who's making up these things you'd want the quickest possible way to deal with it. So let's undo that 
and I'm going to click on here now for some reason it doesn't work when you've got this tool opened if I right click if it comes up my PC is taking a lot of time there we go um, yeah it's not giving me the option that I want and you'll see what the option is in a minute so let's just come away from that again I'm going to select the marquee tool and I'm going to right click again in the image here we go and it gives me replace contents let's select a new image and there we go and it's already sized it based on what the last size was now it would be quicker than that my PC's running slow because I've done a few different things then I haven't rebooted yet but that's it so rather than deleting and starting over choose the marquee tool it may work with some of the other tools it doesn't work for some reason with the arrow tool but right click on it replace contents select another image and place it and that's probably the best way to create an album or a collage or anything else that you want to do quick easy and then be able to save that as a document and transform it each time for a different client it's perfect Hope that's helpful.